I'm lazier driving to the car wash. I kind of like doing my own thing. I don't really like going out and spending money on like a freaking car wash when I can just do it myself. <laughs> it's hot when chicks wash cars. Bending over, getting all soapy. Oh, I'd love to be in a rap video. <laughs> Washing a car, that'd be cool. Check out ass. <laughs> Nice and shiny. That's right. You gotta, good. You gotta get him bling bling. And I'm impressed. Good job. Uh, can you do mine next? Hell no. us to Vegas to help promote the Playboy Club opening in Vegas. It'll be the first one in the world since like the 1980s. That is so cool. The Palms is opening a second tower that will include a Playboy casino and a Playboy club and Playboy suite. It's all Playboy themed at the very top. We are here. Uh, Elvis has his oh. ride. Oh, Elvis has his ride. So in honor of this new tower, they're going to have a new version of the bunny costume designed by Roberto Cavalli, who's like one of the hottest designers right now. And not only am I excited to see it, but I'm excited to wear it in the fashion show. Party time! I'm going to get over there and shoot a picture in front of that sign. We really wanted to take a picture with the big marquee that said welcoming Hugh Hefner and Roberto Cavalli. So we all went out there and took a picture. And it's just cool to see that and to have a picture to capture it. They should have had Kendra, Bridget, and Holly at the bottom also. Yep. All right. Uh, they didn't. <laughs> Good to be here. Wow. Us girls just went not too long ago, but this time we're going with Hef. So that's totally different. Mwah. Yay! Woo! We're here. We were staying in the Hugh Hefner suite, as we did last time when it was just us girls. We also went with Jillian, Grace. Crystal Camden and Hef's brother Keith. Brotherly love. But having Hef there is just extra fun. It really feels like home. No, okay. cool. Time to take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this looks familiar. Dress up wild. <laughs> 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 ah! I heard they cleaned the sheets. We did a lot of we did a lot of dirty things on that. Oh. <laughs> Before we went to dinner, we changed because I wanted to be in a looser dress for a good dinner. <laughs> so we changed our clothes. Some of us changed our clothes, not all of us. Why are you changing? Are we supposed to change? Oh, no. Do you like this one? It makes me look fat. Oh, I like it. Yeah, I do like that. Yeah. yeah. I can't find the shoes I came here with. <laughs> I can't find the shoes I came here Let's with. Let's go change. I don't know. No, you guys don't change. Haters. Haters. <laughs> Bridget, this is the, like, the worst I've ever looked in my entire life. Bullshit. <sighs> it was worse yesterday. <laughs> yeah, got it. The Nine is one of my favorite restaurants. We got to go there for dinner, and it was just great. I hate seafood. I would never want to try seafood. But with caviar, I'm like wondering. I'm like, those little black little balls. Like, I wonder what that could taste like. reaction to the caviar was disgusting. Both of us think it's really gross. It's like fish. I ran for you. You ate it? No. I don't want it. Don't make it to me. I refuse to try it. I'm just grossed out. <laughs> it wasn't bad at all. I think out of every seafood, out of every, I think I'd eat caviar. Is that weird? That's really weird, isn't it? <laughs> I ate caviar. Oh, it's so much like it's all yours. Well, you better so I gotta tell you my good idea. <laughs> Here it is, bro. A good idea. This is the idea that I came up with in the car. We all get married in the little white chapel. Oh. <laughs>
isn't that sweet. Except that's not that's divorced yet. <laughs> well, that makes it all the more delicious and dangerous. Oh my God, I got a good idea though. Another good idea. Oh, no. also in the car. No, okay, this is the thing. For publicity, for publicity. Oh. We even, we just show up there and look like we're getting married. <laughs> all of us. We just show up there and we'll get so much publicity, it will be up the wall. And then the arrest? Is that against the law? Um, marrying a whole bunch of people is against the law. They've tried it a few well, times okay. in Utah, but they they well, busted. You you put us there, Holly, and we'll be the we'll be the maids of honor. Bridesmaid, and then we'll all have a honeymoon together. All right. <laughs> After we went to the restaurant, we decided to go and play some blackjack. once ever sat at a table while somebody was playing and it wasn't me playing I just watched some high rollers play I'd like a, a $500 chip for each of the, of the girls that are playing Holly doesn't want to play we decided to go and play some blackjack because it's not really Vegas without gambling however I've never gambled in my life and don't ever plan on doing it so I didn't participate oh I think I should get another car do you think Get, we are getting another card. Oh. And then and all of a sudden he skipped my turn and took my chip. But I hadn't done anything. I didn't get another card. You wait me off. We go block block. I didn't uh, wait. I didn't do anything. Now you can now you no. can now you can, you can bet another one or you can bet another two. I don't like this. I feel like I've been cheated. Honestly, he did not let me take a turn. The dealer decided for me. Why I do this? <laughs> Uh, you want you want another car? Right? Um, another car, please. After that, everything went so good, and I learned how to say "I'm gonna stay" or "hit me," and I didn't do too bad. There you go. Oh, oh nice. nice! I didn't have to do good. anything. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. We did pretty good, and it was a fun way to waste an hour. Good night. Make it. I can't look right now. This is like the, the shit. What? This is the cool suite. Oh, All oh, right, God. right. Woo! George Maloof was having a party at the new tower that the Palms was building, and they had a special suite called the Hardwood Suite, which is basically a basketball court with a couple of beds in it, and it was just really cool to have a party in there because shooting free throws when you're drunk is a lot of fun. Oh, almost. It came right back to me. That's a sign. There was tons of people trying to make free, they call them free throws or whatever, and um, <laughs> it was packed. Darling. If you shoot from over here, you can use the backboard a little bit. If you shoot from the angle, you got nothing working for you. I know, I don't care. I think Hef was really embarrassed because I wasn't making any of the baskets. <laughs> use the backboard, move over. I don't want to move over. Okay, then why don't you sit down and watch? <laughs> I don't care, I was having fun. <laughs> It was really fun because I could show off my, my basketball skills and they were just like blown away because how good I was. <laughs> was that Kendra? Who can do that? Who can do that? Hey, <laughs> challenge me. <laughs> And uh, George Malouf, actually, you should, you should have heard him. He's like, I'm going to hire you to play for the Kings. I'm like, all right. You should have heard that shit. It was crazy. Oh, it, Well, we know what our game is now. I wish that uh, Hef had a basketball court in his suite. <laughs> Can you believe this is a suite? No. She's been sinking back. She's standing in the easy spot, though. I stood in the hard spot. Yes, you did. I kept telling you to use the backboard. I was so tired. At the hardwood suite, I was kind of starting to nod off on the bed. Popping. Are you ready to turn in? I'm always ready to turn in. All right. And we left Bridget and Kendra down there at a party, you know, because they want to get the most out of the whole Vegas experience. You guys can hang out as long as you like. Shit! Hell yeah! All right. I stay out. It's like 5 in the morning. <laughs> Yeah. Are we ready? We're ready for
ready? You're ready. I'm really excited to go to Madame Tussauds today. It's chilly out. I bought ferrets here. Oh, yeah, I love two of them. ferrets. You don't want one. You don't. No. I thought Why? I did. They're I thought stinky. I did. Mean, I, these things would latch on. They would latch on. They wouldn't let go. And I, I would be like, boom. <laughs> I had to like throw it. When they bite, they're crazy. Yeah. You're the man. I've heard so much about this wax figure of Hef, and I've seen pictures of it, and it looks like it is a spitting image, so I'm really excited to go and see it. Probably the most popular experience that we have. Does it's it so have simple. A penis? Does it have a penis? <laughs> uh, I asked no. if it has a penis. Oh. <laughs> that would have been correct. I don't even know how to pronounce that, but that wax museum was crazy. It was so cool. I know, yeah. I feel like I can't tell which ones are real, which ones are fake. We should pose as a wax person and see if people notice. <laughs> Wow, that looks real. Yeah. <laughs> Hefner for president. Woo! I think we need to make a change. <laughs> but seriously, folks, one of these men should be president. Uh, it's a cute Marilyn. That's really pretty. <laughs> Elvis. They actually let you go up to the figures and touch them, which is unlike any other wax museum I've ever been to. Ooh, he turned me on. I just want to say thank you all for, for coming tonight. <laughs> Have your wedding. We should. Ah, Bridget, it's George oh, Clooney! Oh, that's, oh, that's your man right there. Hold on, dress. I do have a wedding announcement to make. Honey, Bridget's gonna oh. marry George Clooney. <laughs> Here we <he> come. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you make a wonderful bride. It almost looks so real. Like you, it is. Right? Are, you, are you getting it's jealous? Amazing. It looks so real. It really is yes. remarkable. Where's Johnny Depp? You know, it's Vegas. You're allowed to get married real quick on the weekends. I'll get it annulled in three days. <laughs> Louie. And then we went into this special room. It was like a whole boudoir set up. And there was like the brown bed. And there was Hef sitting on it. Oh, a wow. baby puppet. It's actually made of silicon, not wax. <gasps> like my boobies. Oh, really? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that looks so good. <laughs> it's really a very strange material. He has a hairy chest. It's animated, so it has a voice. It was really cool. Haven't I seen you before at the Playboy Mansion? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you have. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. That is crazy. What brings you to Vegas? <laughs> See you, fella. I looked down his pants, and there was a big, fat nothing. So I prefer the real half to the silicone half. Well, that was fun. That was worth the trip. That was, that was worth that the trip. Yours was the best, honey. I'm like marrying George Clooney, too. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was good. I didn't know I was getting married this weekend. We went to the Playboy store, which none of us had ever seen, and it was great. We went on a shopping spree. Let's start shopping. Cute. Oh, All right, I know what I want. Oh, skirts. This is cute. Yeah. They're like, OK, go shopping. I'm like, all right, shit. <laughs> I'm getting one of these. Are you going to get one of these? I don't know. I don't know how that all works. They said we can get whatever, so I'm going to get whatever. And then I found out they were just going to let us have all that stuff. I couldn't believe it. It was awesome. We had so much fun. Oh, my God. I'm oh going crazy. This is so much fun. We got to go on a total shopping spree through the Playboy store. It was the coolest thing. Oh, yeah, I want all these. <laughs> Did we get a cart? I like this. It is really a beautiful store. Oh, I like this cart one. Do you see it? I want to wear it tonight. Do you get an employee discount? Oh, skirts. <laughs> all right, I know. I'm going to get this jacket. I'm going to wear this out of here. Now, I need a shirt. Which will look good? <coughs> like a hoochie hoochie one. A hoochie hoochie one. <laughs> Ew. I found the cutest bag. It was black and it was furry and it looked just like Gizmo on Wednesday. It's my portable animal. Oh, my God. This is too fun. Ooh, and this too. Can I? OK, one more. One more thing. Here you go. Oh, God, this thing looks like a dream jacket. Guess what? I got it. I got the damn jacket. At night, we went to the Rio to meet Roberto Cavalli for dinner at a restaurant called the Voodoo Lounge. And it's so cool because it's totally themed. Oh, this is cool. Oh. This is so awesome. Look at this. <laughs> 
They have the voodoo monarch aquan. <laughs> they have three little pigs. <laughs> You wanted to stay an extra night. Did you hear that rumor? Yeah. Is that true? I'm ready to get out of here right now. <laughs> no. Shows you how wrong those rumors are. No. What are you guys getting? The just uh, hallucinating. Hallucinating. <laughs> hallucinating. <laughs> Roberto is late for our date. He flaked out. <gasps> I want to go outside really bad. Can, we, can I go outside? Look at it, there's an outside thing. I don't know. If there's an outside, you can. If there isn't an outside, you can't go out there. Oh, there is one, though. Sure. Roberto Cavalli was running a little bit late, so we went outside and we looked at the view from up there. It's beautiful. <gasps> Look at it, how cool. Wow. Oh, this is cool. See the pyramid? Yeah, that's where my mom's staying. Well, that one's created by aliens. <laughs> That's the signal I send up there, the saucers. I wonder if you could see that from like outer space. <laughs> Let's go and find out. When we came back inside, Roberto Cavalli joined us for dinner. Yay! Yay! We thought you weren't coming. <laughs> we were not sure. No. Roberto Cavalli is designing a new bunny costume, and he's a very popular designer that a lot of the celebrities like to use. He does dresses for like Christina Aguilera and Scarlett Johansson. I just love his stuff. One of the playmates had given him her necklace, and he was all excited about that. He's like, I'm the sexy bunny man. Honey, did you see he has a bunny necklace? I have a, 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 a bunny like man. A bunny. I have a bunny man now. I am a beautiful bunny man now. He's a bunny, he's a bunny man. I tell you, my breast is not enough. Just as well. The only nice dress that I like in, in LA is Ago. Ah, oh, that's a good restaurant. That's my favorite. Oh, is that an Italian restaurant? Italian yes. restaurant. I really love the Olive Garden. It's my favorite restaurant in the world. Really? Yeah. Where is it? Olive Garden. Yes. It's so good. It's like the fast food of Italian. <laughs> 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 no, but it's really good though. It's you should try it. You should try it. I'll bring you some. I'm like, whatever. It's the best damn Italian food ever. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> Olive Garden is shit. We're gonna come visit you in Italy. I had to say it was okay. I told you, you have to. All of you, you will stay in my boat. Oh my you god. You have to take us to the best uh, Italian restaurant too. Roberto Cavalli also invited us to come and stay at his mansion in Florence, Italy, and I'm all down for that. Italy is the number one place that I want to visit. And I was like, Hef, can we please, can we please go stay with Roberto? <laughs> Hef's thinking about it too, so I'm excited. It's a date. <laughs> but we'll see you guys at rain, I think. Pretty cool that he's, <laughs> cool that he's, that he's wearing the rabbit. <laughs>they were going to have a fashion show there, the unveiling of the new bunny costume. The reason the bunny costume is getting revamped is because they are bringing back the Playboy Clubs at the Palms and we're going to see its premiere. Stand still. Backstage I was really nervous because I didn't really have much of a chance to rehearse and it was packed there were so many people that were just so excited about it oh my god there was so many people it was packed don't worry about it just i want you to have fun that's the bottom line you're not mess it up famous last words john They started the fashion show with some Playboy swimwear and lingerie fashion. And then they went into kind of the history of the bunny costume. Oh yeah, the event was great. It was so cool. Like all all the girls look so hot. And then they came out with Roberto Cavalli's new design for the bunny costume. No, 
was really happy for Holly. That's kind of one of her dreams, and, and Roberto Cavalli is one of her favorite designers, and that was just like a big thing for her. Not that I don't think it would have been fun to be up there, and I was like, oh, that'd be so fun. But I'm happy for Holly, and I'm glad she got the opportunity to do it. I came out on the runway, I was thinking a lot of things. I was thinking, don't trip and fall. I was thinking, have a lot of energy. I was thinking, take your time. But I had a really great time. Being involved in Playboy has affected my life in ways that I can't even describe just because it's not just being involved with Playboy, it's, you know, being in Hep's life and we're in love and it really, it affects everything I do. I love Hep and I love the girls and I love the direction all of our lives has taken. So many of my dreams have already come true and now I'm aspiring for so much more and the doors are opening and I just feel like now's my time to shine. I think being involved with Playboy and Hep's life changed my life a lot. The things around me have changed, but I haven't changed. When the clubs start opening again, it'll be huge. Play will be huge. Play will rule the fucking world. I go and I, I was like, boom! I had to like throw it. When they bite, they're crazy. Yeah. You're the man. I've heard so much about this wax figure of Hef and I've seen pictures of it and it looks like it is a spitting image so I'm really excited to go and see it. Probably the most popular experience that we have. Does it's so have simple. A Does it have a penis? I don't even know how to pronounce that, but that wax museum was crazy. It was so cool. I know, yeah. I feel like I can't tell which ones are real, which ones are fake. We should pose as a wax person and see if people notice. <laughs> I think we need to make a change. <laughs> but seriously, folks, one of these men should be president. Uh, that's awesome. That's a cute Marilyn. That's really pretty. <laughs> they actually let you go up to the figures and touch them, which is unlike any other wax museum I've ever been to. Ooh, you turn me on. I just want to say thank you all for, for coming tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Have your wedding. Ah, oh, Bridget, it's George oh, Clooney. Oh, that's, oh, that's your man right there. Put on a dress. I do have a wedding announcement to make. Honey, Bridget's gonna marry George Clooney. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Oh. <laughs> then the veil. But oh, my veil. Sorry, one minute. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You make a wonderful bride. It almost looks so real. Like you, it is. Right? Are you getting it's jealous? Amazing. It looks so real. It really is yes. remarkable. Where's Johnny Depp? You know, it's Vegas. You're allowed to get married real quick on the weekends. I'll get it annulled in three days. <laughs> And then we went into this special room. It was like a whole boudoir set up. And there was like the brown bed. And there was Hef sitting on it. Oh, a wow. baby puffin. It's actually made of silicon, not wax. <gasps> like my boobies. Oh, really? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that looks so good. <laughs>
It's really a very strange material. He has a hairy chest. It's animated, so it has a voice. It was really cool. Haven't I seen you before at the Playboy Mansion? <laughs> <laughs> so funny. That is crazy. What brings you to Vegas? <laughs> I've seen you, fella. I looked down his pants, and there was a big, fat nothing. So I prefer the real half to the silicone half. Well, that was fun. That was worth the trip. That was, that was worth the trip. Yours was the best. Good I was. <laughs> Uh, George Malouve, actually, you should, you should have heard him. He's like, I'm gonna hire you to play for the Kings. I'm like, all right, you should have heard that shit. It was crazy. I wish that uh, have had a basketball court in his suite. <laughs> Can you believe this is a suite? No. She's been sinking baskets. She's standing in the easy spot, though. I stood in the hard spot. Yes, you did. I kept telling you to use the backboard. I was so tired. At the hardwood suite, I was kind of starting to nod off on the bed. Are you ready to turn in? I'm always ready to turn in. All right. And we left Bridget and Kendra down there at a party, you know, because they want to get the most out of the whole Vegas experience. You guys can hang out as long as you like. Shit! Hell yeah! All right. I say it's like 5 in the morning. <laughs> Yeah. Are we ready? We're ready, Freddie. You're ready. I'm really excited to go to Madame Tussauds today. It's chilly out. Okay. I bought ferrets here. I I oh, yeah, two of them. There. You don't want one. You don't. No. I thought Why? I did. I They're thought I did. They're steamy. These things would latch on. They would latch on. They wouldn't let go. And I, I would like, boom! <laughs> I had to like throw it. When they bite, they're crazy. Yeah. You the man. I've heard so much about this wax figure of Hef, and I've seen pictures of it, and it looks like it is a spitting image, so I'm really excited to go and see it. Probably the most popular <laughs> experience that we have. Does it's so have simple. A penis? Does it have a penis? I don't even know how to pronounce that, but that wax museum was crazy. It was so cool. I know. Yeah. I feel like I can't tell which ones are real, which ones are fake. We should pose as a wax person and see if people notice. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that looks real. <laughs> I think we need to make a change. <laughs> but seriously, folks, I have a honeymoon together. All right. <laughs> After we went to the restaurant, we decided to go and play some blackjack. <laughs> I've only once ever sat at a table while somebody was playing, and it wasn't me playing. I just watched some high rollers play. I'd like a, a $500 chip for each of the, of the girls that are playing. Holly doesn't want to play. We decided to go and play some blackjack because it's not really Vegas without gambling. However, I've never gambled in my life and don't ever plan on doing it, so I didn't participate. Oh, I think I should get another car, do you think? Got, we are getting another car. Oh. And then and all of a sudden he skipped my turn and took my chip, but I hadn't done anything. I didn't get another car. We're waiting on. We go plot line. I didn't wait. I didn't do anything. Now you can. Now you can. No. Now you I'm can. Mad. You can bet another one or you can bet another two. I don't like this. I feel like I've been cheated. Honestly, he did not let me take a turn. The dealer decided for me. Why I do this? <laughs> uh, you, want, you want another car? Um, another car, please. After that, everything went so good, and I learned how to say, I'm going to stay or hit me. And I didn't do too bad. There you go. Oh, oh nice. No. I didn't have to do anything. That's right. Oh, no. We did pretty good, and it was a fun way to waste an hour. Good night. Thank you. Now. This is like the, the shit. 
What? This is the cool suite. Oh, oh right, God. right. George Maloof was having a party at the new tower that the Palms was building, and they had a special suite called the Hardwood Suite, which is basically a basketball court with a couple of beds in it, and it was just really cool to have a party in there because shooting free throws when you're drunk is a lot of fun. Oh, almost. It came right back to me. That's a sign. There was tons of people trying to make free, they call them free throws or whatever, and um, <laughs> it was packed. Darling. If you shoot from over here, you can use the backboard a little bit. If you shoot from the angle, you got nothing working for you. I know, I don't care. I think Hef was really embarrassed because I wasn't making any of the baskets. <laughs> use the backboard, move over. I don't want to move over. Okay, then why don't you sit down and watch? <laughs> I don't care, I was having fun. <laughs> It was really fun because I could show off my, my basketball skills. And they were just like blown away because how good I was. <laughs> was that Kendra? <laughs> Who can do that? Who can do that? Hey, <laughs> challenge me. <laughs> And uh, George Malouf, actually, you should you should have heard him. He's like, I'm gonna hire you to play for the Kings. I'm like, all right. You should have heard that shit. It was crazy. No, okay. This is the thing. For publicity, for publicity, we even we just show up there and look like we're getting married. <laughs> all that. We just show up there and we'll get so much publicity it will be up the wall. And then the arrest. And that's against the law. Um, marrying a whole bunch of people is against the law. They've tried it a few well, times okay. in Utah, but they, they well, busted. You, you can just marry Holly and we'll be the, we'll be the maids of honor. The bridesmaid. And then we'll all have a honeymoon together. All right. <laughs> After we went to the restaurant, we decided to go and play some blackjack. I've only once ever sat at a table while somebody was playing, and it wasn't me playing. I just watched some high rollers play. I'd like a, a $500 chip for each of the, of the girls that are playing. Holly doesn't want to play. We decided to go and play some blackjack because it's not really Vegas without gambling. However, I've never gambled in my life and don't ever plan on doing it, so I didn't participate. Oh, I think I should get another car, do you think? Get, we are getting another car. Oh. And then and all of a sudden he skipped my turn and took my chip. But I hadn't done anything. I didn't get another car. We're waiting on. We go block block. I didn't wait. I didn't do anything. Now you can. Now you no. can. Now you I'm can. Mad. You can bet another one or you can bet another two. I don't like this. I feel like I've been cheated. Honestly, he did not let me take a turn. The dealer decided for me. Why I do this? <laughs> uh, you, want, you want another car? Um, another car, please. After that, everything went so good, and I learned how to say, I'm going to stay or hit me. And I didn't do too bad. There you go. There you go. Oh, nice. I didn't have to do go. anything. That's right. Yeah. We did pretty good, and it was a fun way to waste an hour. Good night. Thank you. Now. This is like the, the shit. What? This is the cool suite. Oh, oh right, God. right. Woo! George Maloof was having a party at the new tower that the Palms was building, and they had a special suite called the Hardwood Suite, which is basically a basketball court with a couple of beds in it, and it was just really cool to have a party in there because shooting free throws when you're drunk is a lot of fun. Oh, almost. It came right back to me. That's a sign. There was tons of people trying to make free they call them free throws or whatever, and um, <laughs> it was packed. Darling. If you shoot from over here, you can use the backboard a little bit. If you shoot from the angle, you got nothing working for you. I know, I don't care. I think Hef was really embarrassed because I wasn't making any of the baskets. <laughs> use the backboard, move over. I don't want to move over. Okay, then why don't you sit down and watch? <laughs> I don't care, I was having fun. It was really fun because I could show off my, my basketball skills and they were just like blown away because how good I was. Holly <laughs> at the bottom also. Yep. All right. They didn't. <laughs> good to be here. Wow. Us girls just went not too long ago, but this time we're going with Hef, so that's totally different. Wow. Yay! We're here. We were staying in the Hugh Hefner suite, as we did last time when it was just us girls. We also went with Jillian, Grace, 
Crystal Camden and Hef's brother Keith. Brotherly love. But having Hef there is just extra fun. It really feels like home. Oh, cool. It's time to take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this looks familiar. We did a lot of dirty things on that. Oh! <laughs> Before we went to dinner, we changed because I wanted to be in a looser dress for a good dinner. <laughs> so we changed our clothes. Some of us changed our clothes, not all of us. Why are you changing? Are we supposed to change? No. Do, you like, do you like this one? It makes me look fat. Oh, I like it. Yeah, I do like that. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. I can't find the shoes I can't find. The Nine is one of my favorite restaurants. We got to go there for dinner and it was just great. I hate seafood. I would never want to try seafood. But with caviar, I'm like wondering, I'm like, those little black little balls. Like, I wonder what that could taste like. reaction to the caviar was disgusting. Both of us think it's really gross. It's like this. I ran through it. ate it? I don't want it. Don't I refuse to try it. I'm just grossed out. <laughs> it wasn't bad at all. I think out of every seafood I would ever eat, I think I'd eat caviar. Is that weird? That's really weird, isn't it? <laughs> I ate caviar. Oh, it's so much like it's all yours. <laughs> Here it is, folks. A good idea. This is the idea that I came up with in the car. We all get married in the little white chapel. Oh, <laughs> isn't that sweet? Except Jeff's not divorced yet. <laughs> well, that makes it all the more delicious and dangerous. Oh my God, I got a good idea, though. Another good idea. Oh, no. Also in the car. No, okay, this is the thing. For publicity, for public...